historic Pennsylvania Avenue, which at the beginning of the Republic was a muddy lane whose ground was hallowed by the footsteps of Jefferson, Jackson, and Lincoln. Beneath this dome, this beautiful fountain arrangement was conceived by Vice President John N. Garner, who realizing the need for more parking space had a private garage erected for the use of the members of the government. The Mom Abraham Lincoln, as impressive and plain as the character of the man himself. During any day in Washington, you will be conscious of the truth of the great prophecy, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition, all men are created equal. Words spoken by the immortal to whose memory this lasting monument was built. It faces as it should the dignified shaft bearing the name of Washington, the father of his country. In this majestic setting is the President's house, in a long ago day called the President's Palace, and now the White House. Surprisingly, this hospitable and beautiful entrance of such great charm is really the back door. The Supreme Court of the United States is housed in this building, whose classic lines reflect austerity, calm, and great solidity. Former Chief Justice Taft conceived this building and these symbolic figures. Great Capitol on the Hill. The Green Mall sweeping toward the banks of the river. The great open vistas. The broad radiating avenues, just as L'Enfant envisioned them in his mind's eye. Here visitors may see the priceless documents which gave birth to our nation and established our form of government the Declaration of Independence, and the Constitution of the United States of America. Formally kept in the Library of Congress, these precious documents are the very foundation of our freedom and our right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. In the South Wing is the Chamber of the House, but the 435 representatives of the people require two additional office buildings to provide space for all their legislative duties. For more than a million visitors each year who come to Washington from everywhere, the Capitol itself heads the list of things they want to see and pictures they want to take. President of the United States. Oldest and one of the most beautiful public structures in Washington, the White House has been occupied by every chief executive since John Adams, second president of the United States, Force, has its headquarters in the fabulous Pentagon building. Largest office building in the world, the Pentagon has 35,000 employees within its walls. This gleaming structure framed in cherry blossoms and mirrored in the waters of the tidal basin is a memorial to the father of democracy. Its white marble shaft can be seen for miles. 